Hello everyone, Dr. Ziyad Tahir here. This video tutorial is solution to problem 1.49 from mechanical vibration by SS Rao 6 edition. The same problem 1.49 is in 5th edition of mechanical vibration. So that is the statement of the problem. In figure 1.96, find the equivalent mass of rocker or assembly with respect to x coordinate. With respect to x coordinate means that we have to find translational mass or m equivalent. So first to solve this problem, we need to draw a free body diagram by giving a, an initial displacement x. So this initial displacement x is given at arbitrary position. So we I am going to assume that this displacement is x is given to that lower end. So that's a free body diagram when an initial displacement x is given. So that is the point of rotation. So then it will have an angle theta about its point of rotation. So then that is angle theta. So when uh, upper end is being moved a little bit for small value of theta, so then there will be a displacement x1 in spring k1 and for that spring k2 there will be a displacement x2 in for that spring k which is attached to the mass. And I am going to assume that x is also acting at lower end of the rocker, rocker arm. So this problem, in this problem then, because all the assemblies are given, so we can find out equivalent mass by assuming equivalence of kinetic energies. So to use equivalence of kinetic energy, it's mean that kinetic energy of the whole system is equal to sum of the kinetic energies of three component which is m1, m2 and then rocker arm with uh, rotational mass j0. So kinetic energy, kinetic energy T is equal to half m x dot square for translational springs like for mass m1 and m2 and for rotational mass j0 the formula is half j0 theta dot squared and because here the displacement x is given so it's mean that for equivalence so the displacement or the kinetic energy is calculated using that x so for the equivalence of kinetic energy it's mean that the total kinetic energy of the system is equal to kinetic energy of mass 2 kinetic energy of mass 1 and then kinetic energy of that rotational mass j o. So now half m equivalent x dot square so that is the total equivalent kinetic energy of the system is equal to kinetic energy of mass 1 with its velocity as x1 dot and then plus kinetic energy of mass 2 plus kinetic energy of that rotational mass j 0. So that is the equivalent kinetic uh, equivalence of kinetic energy. So now in this one uh, problem we have that rotation theta as angular displacement and we have x1, x2 as translational displacement and x of the whole system as x. So we need to develop a relationships between uh, theta, x1 and x2. So if I'm going to consider that the lower part of this half so then it will form a triangle or it is form an r and then using s is equal to r theta using s is equal to r theta for the approximation that theta is small in radian so then the relationship between x and theta can be developed relationship between x and theta can be developed using that radius of rotation as x so then x will be equal to for this case as b theta 
so the x is equal to b theta and x dot if you by taking the first order derivative x dot will become b theta dot so then using that relationship i can write that angular velocity in terms of translational velocity then x2 is equal to x because i have assumed that this displacement is given to the point there so then x2 is equal to x and then velocity x2 is equal to simple velocity of the whole system and then it is possible to write x1 in terms of x using similar triangle so for the similar triangle so if i'll use that tan theta for if a triangle is being formed here so then it will become x over a and for the similar triangle tan theta it will become x over b so then x1 can be written in terms of x so using similar triangles or tan theta is x1 over a is equal to x over b so then x1 can be written as a over b into x and by taking the derivative of both sides so velocity x1 dot is equal to a over b into x so now these values of theta 0 which is equal to uh, from here the theta 0 will be equal to x dot over b it can be substituted it there x2 dot is equal to x dot and x1 dot is equal to a over b x dot so it, these values can be inserted in the expression so now the further by substituting the value of x dot x1 dot x2 dot and theta dot in terms of x so that expression will form and now this expression can be simplified further as as half m1 a square over b square into x dot square plus half m2 x dot square plus half j0 x dot square over b square so now from the right hand side from here half and x dot can be taken as common and by if we take half and x dot as common and it can be cancelled on the other side so by taking half x dot square common factor from this expression and dividing on the other side so m equivalent will become m1 a square over b square plus m2 plus j0 over b so this can be further simplified by writing a common denominator of b squared so by writing as a common denominator m equivalent that will become m1 a squared plus m2 b squared plus g0 j0 so that is that is equivalent mass with respect to x coordinate or that is equivalent translational mass or equivalent mass in translational axis so i hope you find this explanation useful thank you very much for watching